One thing you can do on your iPad is you can go to Safari, tap on Safari, and you actually want to go to images.google.com. So in, in the address bar, I'm going to type in images.google.com. And in the search, I'm going to search for graph paper. Search. So you can choose any graph paper that you see that you like. I'm going to use this one here with the X, Y axis. So I go ahead and tap on it. And then you're going to hold your finger down to save the image. Just hold your finger down on it. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hold my finger down and I get the options to save the image or copy. So pick your finger up and tap save image. Then I can hit the home button to exit out of the program. And I'm going to hit the home button once, twice, slowly, and it's going to bring me to the search because I want to use the Doodle Buddy app. So if you do not have Doodle Buddy, oops, tap it again to get to the search. If you do not have Doodle Buddy, I would recommend that you install it. It's free. So I go to Doodle Buddy. It's going to launch this app. And so on the tic-tac-toe, this little picture option here, whoops. this tic-tac-toe that you see there, if I tap on that, it's going to allow me to choose different backgrounds. So I can choose a brick wall, the beach, but I actually want to choose from my photo album. So I'm going to click on photos, and I go to the camera roll, and in the camera roll are those pictures of graph paper that I had just saved. So I just tap on that graph paper, and now I have a background of graph paper. Let me clear this. So if you go to this one that has a stamp, I click on the stamp icon, I see a bunch of different stamps that I can choose, and each of the stamps make a sound that go along with the picture. So of course, teaching kids, we like to use piles of poop. So I tap on the pile of poop, and I'm going to graph a parabola. Now you can't hear it, but it actually makes little funny noises. I, I graph my parabola. Boy, isn't that fun. Graphing suddenly became a lot more awesome. Then I can click on the chalk. I'm going, I'm going to graph with glitter. So I'm going to tap on glitter, and I'm going to use pink glitter. And then I can graph my parabola. Now if you want to save those images, come over here to the wrench in the corner. This wrench and you tap on it and you can send it in an email so you can email that out or save it to your photo album and now you can insert that picture onto your web page wherever else that you could share that with students.